Hello Master Guides in Training, I hope that you're well and that your course is going well and that the Lord is blessing you as you continue to study and train to become the best leaders that you're supposed to be. I'd like to remind you that this is a, a, a training course and this is a section of your requirements. So if you complete it, please remember to have it signed and ticked off in your requirement sheet. Take note of that which is taking place in the comments below. In every video, there should be more comments or, or different links that we'll be giving to you to actually look at and support you in uh, bettering your, your training and your requirements as you complete them. So God bless you as you continue with the requirements. And uh, may you always remember that you're training yourself to become, or the Lord is training you to become the best leaders that you can be to the young people in, in the junior youth ministry of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and specifically in the Cape Conference at your local church. God bless and enjoy this, this series. Keep well. Goodbye. Hey. Lord Jesus, we come before your throne. We want to thank you for the time that you have given us. May you be with us. I put everyone here in your hands. Be with each and everyone, and may you lead us and guide us in everything that we're going to do. May you send your Holy Spirit to guide us in every program that we're going to have here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. I'm going to hand over to Amen. Brother Bongani, who is the Vice Chair for the Advanced Ministry for the WICOM. And he will share the overview. If you have any questions, we will see how we can answer these questions. If we can't answer all the questions that you have, we will answer it in due time. So over to you, Brother Bongs. Uh, thank you, Pastor. Uh, good evening, uh, leaders. Um, thank you for taking this opportunity to come and learn and to understand what needs to be done uh, for you to complete the Master Guide in Training curriculum. Um, so my task today is to share the insights into the skills development section. So I think the last time you shared on the spiritual uh, development section. So I'm going to the next section, which is the skills development section. So that's what I'm going to deal with it. So I'll try and, um, so what I suggest, I'll go through the, the I'll, I'll, I'll show a power uh, presentation of the curriculum and then, it, and then then please note down your questions so that so that we don't try and, and answer a lot of questions and not get to the, the task. So I'll cover through the, all the sections, try and explain as clear as possible. And then at the end, when you have a question, then we'll open up to the questions. So I suggest we do it for, for this session. Um, so let's let's get the, the journey going. Um, and I hope everyone is, uh, you know, what all happening around, everyone is safe and yeah, even the times when we are stuck at home, we can still achieve what we need to achieve. So let's make it happen. So um, I might not see your faces, but uh, you see mine. I, I just want to get an indication. Can everyone see the, the PowerPoint presentation or the slides? Yes, brother. Just in someone just indication. Yes. 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 Oh, thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Arthur. Okay. So now this is a curriculum that we're going to go through. So take you to the skill development. So now this part of the, 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 the curriculum, I think it's more, we call it, I think, the presentation style curriculum because most of stuff is present, sometimes presented to you rather than you doing the presentation. So, so the, mostly of the stuff is stuff that as the, as the youth department of, from the YCOM section and through the, through the pastor, this training, these seminars, which are supposed to be 90 minute seminars, will be provided to, to you. If you have done it, great stuff. You don't have to do it again. But the idea is that this is a seminar where someone will present to you and then from there, just by being part of that semi of the seminar, you, you basically fulfill the requirement. Okay, so we'll go through step by step. So the first one is the leadership uh, seminar. So leadership seminar. So the key areas, obviously, leadership is a wide variety. I mean, there's a lot of information about leadership, 
but this one is is there's a particular four sections that is a particular of, of, of interest in the master guide training uh, program the first one is how to be a christian leader so yes you can be a leader but how to become a christian leader so you get insights into how you become a christian leader the next the next one is uh, having a vision mission and a motivation so now i always say that when you start a master guide you should not say i want you a master that's not a that's not the reason for me personally you know if you say i want a master card because i want to transform or change the world of young people that's 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 something that you know is a mission there's a vision because you've you have something that you're focusing on so that is that's why they want to say that not to just be a christian leader but have a christian leader with a vision with a mission with a motivation so something that drives you to to to, to, to what you need to fulfill so you'll be given skills of how to create a mission statement, how to, how to have a mission, a mission statement, and how to have a motivation, something that drives you. Uh, I remember there was one time where, um, where, where, where the, uh, it was a master guide, actually at the beginning, it was a master guide in, in Christchurch that was happening at Helderbeck at one year. And, and the, the pastor Papu was, was part of the, 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 the people that was present there. And, and he talked about, the, uh, having a, a, a vision, having a goal, and and he talked about you know stories of people that that he has gone through experience. That there was one gentleman, a young man, that has completed metric, and then he said he wants to be a medical doctor. Now the reason why he wanted to be a medical doctor was because he has a brother at home that he has an illness. Not no other doctors can actually verify what disease he has. So. His drive was to become a medical doctor so he can able to help his brother to understand what he can do. So that's the kind of thing that we're talking about. That's something that really is out of extraordinary. That you can't even, when you think about it, it's like makes you can't sleep because you think of that vision of that passion. So that is the idea that we're trying to build as a master guys in training to have those kind of focus when they build, when they set up in this ministry. The next one, it's not supposed to say risk, but it's supposed to say risk management. For adventures and pathfinding and ministry. So, as you know, this is a very important area that even from GC level going down, it has been a focus area big time where there's now policies created for you know for child protection and all of that. So this is the area where we need to understand all the risk that that we need to be aware of in that ministry of adventures and pathfinders. Because if some of the things we don't follow, you know, we don't want to find you that someone is arrested because they didn't find follow the procedures of the church in the setting. So you need to understand the risk that involved when you work with these ministries. Because unfortunately, there are things that happen and which you do not want to see. So when you are trained about it, then it's easier to note them out and you're able to manage them to, to train and give those risks. And also discipline is a, is a fourth area of leadership that's important, that you need to understand how discipline, you know, there's many ways or even the government saying now you need to discipline children this way. So we need to also understand as Christian leaders, how do we need to discipline, how to discipline, how do you make adventure the pathfinder able to listen to instructions? How do you make pathfinder able to listen to the instruction of the parents? Because you know, yes, you might be training them, then they go back to the parents. So it might be skills that you can work with them with the parents that you help the young people. And and I think this part of leadership for me is very important because we look at how things are happening in, in the world currently. You know, the companies that have great leadership, they are striving. Those have leadership that have struggling leadership, you know, or can call it weak leadership, you can see the, the some of the companies are going down. Because not because of the company just willing to go down, because of the leadership that has not had the right visions or the right focus at the time. So it's very key that as leaders, we need to understand this. this thing. So that is the first session in the, in, the, in the seminar section. The next one is communication. Now it's key that, when you work with young people, not everyone, they say people learn in three different ways of languages, you know, others just by virtually, others uh, by touching, others by hearing. So we all work or understand things differently. But now to able to say, listen, my, I have an adventurer that is not able to read. How do you work with that child? How do you make them still you know, fulfill the requirements of the class, but without making them right, because you know they're not able to write. If you have a special uh, needs ch child, in the, how do you communicate to that child? 
So you learn those kind of skills to be able to, to work with the young people or the children or the adventurers so that you're able to get to the end so that they can achieve all that they need with the, with the information that they're sharing. So it's very key that as, as part of the academy, we get to know all these areas of competition. And the, and the other point there is practical communication practice. So you actually practice it, you know, talk up, learn about the theory, but have the opportunity to practice those things. And then, as I mentioned, that understanding teaching and learning skills that people don't learn the, learn the same way. So it's very important now to understand what are the different ways and how, can, what tools do you need to be able to use in those different settings. I hope everyone is, we are together so far. Just a thumbs up to say we are together. Thank you, thank you, Chofu. Thank you, thank you for that. And then the next session is um, creativity and resource and resources. I, I love this one because it's 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 not saying that no, you're not creative, but say listen, there's more we can tap into your creativity. Thank you, thank you, Wilson. There, there's more you can you, you can tap into your creativity because it's very important that. When we work with these young young people, they are so energetic, they are so willing to do stuff, but if you don't have stuff for them to do, they'll get bored easy. So then you need to be able to, as a leader, to be very creative so that you can work with them. And so that is the idea of this section. You give all the relevant skills or the knowledge or the know-how of how to be creative mind to be creative to make a difference in the in the, in the autonomous youth um, area. And then the last of the uh, seminars uh, in this in this section is the ch child evangelism. Now, the child evangelism, we know that when you're working also with young people, you need to be able to uh, uh, talk to them and evangelize with them. And you need to get understand the skills. What is evangelism? What's important for them, for the young people? What, what is, you can see youth and child evangelism. So you need to understand what are the differences? What are the differences eight people able to do that that you need to work with the young people. So those are, that's one section. Other children is how to lead, how to lead children, a child Christ. So you need to be able to say, when I'm doing the class, what is that if 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 a child at the point of all the years from adventurers to pathfinder has not made a choice for Christ, then you know hey, there's something that is missing. That probably the focus of where you wanted to drill that. Was was needed some more guidelines to get you to there because the idea is that by the time the child gets to twelve years, they should be listening. One day, I want to be baptized. They should be listening, interest and appetite to to be baptized. So hence we we have been taught to the how to lead the child to Christ. So have the skills to help you to get you to, to lead the child to Christ. And then that also in the step is saying understanding your spiritual gifts. I wonder if everyone knows. What their spiritual gift is. And the mm -hmm. nice thing that if you go to the GC website under youth ministries, where you find resources, there's a, a spiritual gifts uh, inventory where you can go through, ask, ask, uh, answer a few questions, and then it can actually come out answers like what from those questions they can tap out what actually are your spiritual gifts that, that you that you may know or might not know. So all these avenues are available for us to learn. So you need to know what your spiritual gift so that when you, you work in this ministry, you know what you're good at. And then you make it strength, strengthen where you're good at. And also, also power, empower where you're not good at because that skill might be needed for, for the ministry. So it's very important that we understand this other. So it's quite a wide, a, a wide uh, vast of information. So if you go if you're going into the curriculum, that, that event ministry is also mentioned there. And then and then that is the 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 the, the, main, the four main uh, seminars under skills development. Then we go to another section now. This section is called now the owner sections, where you, you need to remember skills. So many skills we learning new new development. Hence, owners are part of this uh, a part of this section. So now you have to learn a few skills. So in the previous master guide curriculum, you had options. The, you, you could choose what you want. And I remember uh, human skills, I think we need to only do one, human skills one and two, and that was enough. So with this new curriculum that we're working from 2015, 
they've added a few too, and they've also made some compulsory. So now this owner has a longer option and now compulsory. So in that, the first one, you need to, to learn about Christian storytelling. This, those are all owners that you can find. On, uh, uh, and, and, and I think part of the, 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 the process that we're doing now that some of these owners are being taught already in the different forums of, 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 of YouTube and uh, uh, um, Zoom and, uh, and, and Facebook. So these are coming up to help you to achieve this, this point. So this one is a Christian storytelling. It's not an optional one. It's compiled that all the master guide, when they're completed, they should have this one. Christian storytelling. There you learn about how to tell Christian stories. It's quite an interesting area, very interesting. And I think after this session, you actually tell stories in a different way because now there's a structure. So it's very important to, 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 to get to complete this section. The next one is Cambridge Skills 1 to 4. So as mentioned previous, so 1 to 2 was important, but now it's all 1 to 4. There's different questions in each uh, uh, chemistry skills owner. So you need to follow them. But, but I know some of them says you need to go out to an overnight camp. So those are the things that we're trying to find out uh, with the leadership, how we would, would shuttle those kind of things, where you need to go and camp out. But because of the, of, of the lockdown and the restriction, of some of them are not able, but the stuff that is ill being able to do in those kind of things. I'm sorry, in those, those owners. So don't say, hey, we can't come out, then you can't do the owner. No, there's a theory part that you can fulfill in the past. Then we can look at other ways, which will, which will share more information as we find other ways of doing it, how the practical part of the owner can be fulfilled. Some of them, you can even do it in your backyard, you know, like keep uh, a, a campfire, that you don't have to go camping out to do a campfire, that you can do it in the comfort of your backyard, where you can say, listen to the fire, you show us how, what you've done, take a photos, that becomes evidence that you can, you can do. Using, making uh, food or building a meal from a, a fire, that you can do in the comfort of your home. You don't have to go camp out. But something like tent, overnight tent, uh, sleeping in a tent, obviously, you can also do that in your comfort of home if you have if a, if a big enough that can do that. So some things we can find ways of, of doing it. So don't be limited. And, and if you check here, there's a point on where I've highlighted on the on, the, on this document, they have different ways of how you can present the, the, that you fulfill that one. And then going to the next part is the basic drill and marching. Simi and Nick should go to those. Those that did it in, at Helderbeck uh, earlier this, earlier in, when we did our, 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 our training day, those that we did the, that we, that we went to race for the same. So by doing that, you've already done most of the work. So it's just a theory. We, I know we did most of the practical. There's a bit of theory. So now, given the theory part and fulfilling the requirements, that you already fulfill the requirement. So it's so if you did that, you're already probably eighty percent done with that with that honor because there was much we actually did practical. We were taught what each each command means. So you, you totally the, the, the whole uh, basic pretty much, but just to fulfill, just give us the evidence of that you are there and some notes of how you understand the, the different practical areas. Then going to the next point of the of notes. So these are very important because if you learn those notes, I'm telling you, 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 won't, you won't see notes the same ever again, because this is a good thing that when you do your own noting at home, you, you know that, hey, this is what a rip note, this is, you know, ship shank, this is different notes. So it makes you know skills much better in that area. So this one, the best way to show that you have achieved this is to create a note board. So there's owners, if you go to the note, this note order, there's actually a, a list of owners that is mentioned there. So it's be carrying a note board with the notes that you have created or you've learned how to do. So that becomes the evidence because now that's easy thing to see that you have created this note, if they say square knot, there's a square knot on a board and you have all those 20, I think it's 20 notes that you need to do. You put them all there in the board, and that becomes your evidence of uh, of, of, of for, the, for this requirement. And then, then the last point there, where he says, which is point three, which is also related to owners, he says now there is you can choose. This is your choice, né? but now because of what there was a, 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 a special request from the stewardship department where, during the time of Pastor Lupondwan when he was the director of our conference, that he, he, he would love to see stewardship 
owner as part of a, a compulsory owner. So hence, it's put here. So it has not become an optional, but everyone should do the stewardship owner because it was encouraged by, from the conference leadership that the, this owner becomes uh, a, a, a sort of a comparison. So mean, meaning that we have five comparison owners that you need to complete. Christian storytelling, chemical skills one, two, four, basic uh, stuff, uh, drill and marching, knots, and then stewardship. And then the other additional owner can be any owner that you feel like. So if you've attended, if I know some of the of the master guides in training here attended the, the online owners that we did through the TOC. So just by completing one of those orders, which are not listed here, you already fulfill that one. So I understand. So it's, as you see, some of the stuff you already done without even you knowing that you have fulfilled the, the requirement. So that's how this, this process is done. So, and then all this says, let's say, let's say this, uh, storytelling before uh, before even a master guide or we did master guide in training. We understand because the requirement is a requirement, fine, but just that you have your owner before, before you started your training. That's to give us a proof. Did in class, here's the here's the what what I think. Then that we do take that because we can't make it to a game because it, it, it's, 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 it's the owner that's already there. But if, if you approve of the old one, then could be a bit of proof, then you need to now put this new owner as a, as a requirement. And then the, let me come to the next set, which is point number five, or a safety certificate or, or its equivalent. So now uh, this, most most of the, because the, remember, there's individuals doing master guide, but some are doing it sort of in, in, a, in a sort of in a club. An example, uh, Mowbray is, is a big group that I think we lost Bongani Pasta. I think you're right, Brother Arthur. Okay, let's just wait for him. Here he comes back. Okay. I, th I think uh, his load shedding, Brother Bongs, is your load shedding stuff. Hello? Uh, my, no, mine is still on. Still on. All right. Well, welcome back. I think maybe just take a few steps back and okay. I'm sure that uh, everyone will be able to follow you further. Okay. No problem. I'm not connected to the electricity, so, so mine is straight, straight on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Back uh, just to. So I, I think so. We, we are covering the section of the owners, uh, which is point number two, where it says to have and end the following owners. So just to summarize again there, so there are four owners that are compulsory, but the conference a few years ago through through the little of Pastor Lupanda, who was the director, had a special request which. Which also flowed with the next youth director that the, the stewardship owner is encouraged of the compulsory owners. So, hence, you see they stated as one of the additional owners that you need. So, it means that you need to fall through is your own option. And then I mentioned that for those that attended the online uh, owners, so if you, I know some people don't, didn't move on this list, you're ready for, for that, that requirement. So, that covers you for, for, for that section. And then I was, covered, I was talking now about the Red Cross uh, certificate. So I was mentioning that some, we know some, some of the, some of the master guide training are part of different uh, groups, are part of different uh, 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 clubs around, like Mobley is a big group of, of, of 
massacre to together. So I know they arranged a training for, for, the, for, for that group. But if you're one of those that you're not able to join any of that, because I know definitely it's not easy to do it by yourself. You need a group, something you need a minimum of 10 or 20 people to do the course. So in those kind of scenarios, we'll help you. We'll find up a date. Obvious pending when lockdown is gonna be open where we can do such things. And then we'll organize the training for you. But we'll send out forms so that people can indicate if they're if they've attended, if they've done the first aid training or not, so that we can help in that in that in that area. And then lastly, from from the skills uh, development section, then says which is point number six: supervise participate through either an adventurous class or partner curriculum, or teach a supervised class for this one year to group to a group of children aged between six and fifteen. So now, obviously, we know that that has changed. We can start now start at four to from four years to fifteen. Now, in this area, it basically says you need to teach a class. And it says, it doesn't say teach a class for two weeks, it says teach a class for a year. So of what I say, this, is, this becomes a tricky because if you think of, the, of, of our ministry, a, 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 a ministry from, 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 from what I've experienced over the years, that our year is actually mostly from February to November. That's what we can call our year because we know it's January, you know, people are holiday, they come half, half, half the year, half the month, they come half the month of January, and then December, basically, people are going to holiday. So, really, nothing happens in that period. But we know from February to March, things that, I mean, February to November, things are happening. So, we, we consider that, that a, a year for, for, for a class. So. So then if you do that in that period, then you are fulfilling the requirement. That, and, and this one, the, if you can see there, it says now, if you complete that class, you know, the proof that you, are you have been teaching a class will come, if you're not the youth director, so you're not, if you're not the director of the club, then the director should send a letter to to as part of the proof in your, in your portfolio to say this person has been teaching this class for the period of the year. That becomes the confirmation that you be teaching them. And also, if you can add a fourth section of the class, so that is the recommendation. So, in the summer school, because you're talking to the right same age, that's what you need to do. Remember, there's a morning afternoon class or afternoon activities. This is uh, uh, the first school, which is the morning, which is found at child. A big part of that is the confirmation because you still work in the same age group that we festival. Because sometimes in some churches, there might be, you know, 20 master guides in training doing, but there's only about five or six class. So how It seems like that brother Bongs got kicked out again. I think he might be struggling a bit with his data. Um, so I guess if you are getting, if you are getting a, um, a little bit of a, a buffer or you're not getting everything, maybe just note what, what he's saying about this section. Um, he's at the moment speaking about the classes in Sabbath school. Um, or, or being part of your class, and that he's he's indicating the time period. So I think he will join shortly once again. Let's maybe just give him a chance to come back. Um, I'm noting everyone's questions, and there are a few hands. What I think, uh, if you can, in the chat, maybe just submit your name and your church name in the chat for us before you before we finish off tonight. Brother Bongs, welcome back.
load shading happening. Load shading happening. <laughs> of course, Ravok, yeah. So at least my lights are back. Good. My lights are back. But now it's something failing with video. I can't even put video now. Something's okay. That's that's all right because if you put video, it might use up even more data. Um, yeah. I think maybe just uh, explain a little bit more about the the classes that you were that you were pointing to. Okay. Uh, Can you see the, the screen? Yo, you, you, I think your internet's buffering quite a bit. Okay, there we can we can see the screen now. <laughs> Uh, all of a sudden, just because uh, can you can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Oh, I think we yeah. can hear you reasonably. You're on the last point, oh, number uh, six, uh, right? The point number six. So yes. this this place card allows you to teach any of the classes either in the morning, the children the Sabbath school classes. Or you can also choose a of a class in the afternoon. Yes, number six. Oh, there he goes again. All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, that is, that's reasonably what um, the section of your skills development entails. Um, I think as he, as he comes back, maybe there are a few questions that you have. What are the questions that you are, you are having? I see uh, Sister Joyful has her hand up. Um, hello, let me look for the question from the curriculum. I'm lost also. <laughs> okay, I wanted to ask about um, under child evangelism, understanding your spiritual gifts. I didn't hear him explaining that. Okay. Under child evangelism, it's under skills development. On seven D. Okay, I'll, I'll let me just get it here quickly. Um, Brother Bungs, are you there? I just want to get the, the, the booklet for, for us. Hello. So you're, you're referring to and a child evangel, which, which one are you talking, talking about this is the joyful? It's under skills development. Yes on understanding your spiritual gifts. I didn't hear him explaining it. Or maybe it was because of the network, I don't know. Okay, so understanding your spiritual gifts. Um, yes. What he referred to there is that you can go onto the GC website and you can go through your spiritual gifts assessment on the GC website, which allows you then to, to even print it and save it to your folder. 
and uh, understand what your spiritual gifts um, are from that assessment. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bonus, would you like to add something there? Oh, that's that's it. That's correct, Pastor. That's yeah. That's the best thing because it yeah, it gives you. So actually, when you complete it, it gives you. It, it asks for your email address and then it emails you your spiritual gifts list of your spiritual gifts. So you get that. So that email becomes your confirmation. Okay, perfect. Sister Rosemary, I see you have your hand up. You just unmute yourself. There we go. Yes, Pastor, two questions I need to ask. The first one is about the Red Cross. I heard the brother Bongan says there's the other group, like as we stay in Fishhook, there's the other group in in Claremont, in Mowbray, that they're doing that thing. So I've been asking, is it fine for us? We didn't join that group yet. If we can go like for a course, and have a like a, a training for a week there is it possible for us to do it or we still need to do it with the church there is and the other one i wanted to ask you about the owners Whilst we were in the lock, lockdown, we did the stewardship with um, the lockdown owners on Zoom as well. And we did uh, submit and we we had our replies. Are we still going to do it in writing for our portfolios or mm -hmm. it's done like that? Hey, Brother Bung, would you like to answer? Brother Bongani? All right, so so my my reply would be this, ma'am, that it uh, it specifies that you in this section hold a Red Cross first aid and safety certificate or its equivalent. Now, um, if the conference organizes someone for that then you can always attend that and that normally takes place at a camp um so the the idea is that you you see that you can do your first your your red cross your first aid um through through uh um what do we call it my mind is leaving me um through through a company that actually presents the cpr or the first aid not the cpr the first aid or the safety certificate um, or its equivalent. So if you go with Mowbray, by all means, do it with them. I think you might have missed them, but um, you can do that with, with that. Brother Bongs, would you like to add something there? Yeah, yes, uh, so that, that's correct, Pastor. So I think the key thing is that whatever you do with, if you're not sure, rather ask us, just you can ask, say, listen, we have this person that is willing to assist uh, with training. So give us those details because what we need to do is to confirm if he is allowed to give a certification because there's a legal certificate that a person that with the with the with the license is allowed to give. So if that person has not licensed and he gives a certificate, you might get in trouble. Something. Let's say you help someone later, but you say, listen, this is my certificate, but that person was not legal, and they investigate that you might get you in trouble. So we don't want to to get certificates going around that are not legal certificates so if you have someone in mind that is willing just give us the details and then we'll verify because he has to send us the manual that he uses just we can see that he covers the areas that need to be covered and also just to get at what is his license number to confirm that he's illegal i mean not, not i don't say he might be illegal but as in does he have the certificate to teach and give certificate for that for that for that section that's that's all buddy but, but i'm saying i, I know more pretty have done that research Yes, I was, I was referring to the Mobile Group because I know they've, they've been doing this a number of times, so they know who to talk to. But, but they say, listen, when fish hook, we are not able to come down to that. 
we can find out how many people are in that area, how many people are there, and then we can try and help someone to come to your area. That's that's depending if the group is the big the group is big enough. But if you're one or two, it's difficult because yeah, no no one will teach two people. But if you're ten or something between ten and twenty, I think that's the number. Then they're able to teach the group like that. Perfect. Okay, thank you. And then regarding your honors. Um, we actually had the the honors the stewardship honor presented yesterday on on zoom um for the guide class and uh you you can you'll be able to access that link um to go through the the that honor for the stewardship um which which will also be shared i will share that on on the whatsapp group that we have going um, anything else from your side, Brother Bongs, on the honors? Yeah, I, th I think, yeah. So just to help on the honors, so so when the honors, as example, pass is good, a good example, it says guide class as a target market. Doesn't mean that as a master guide in training, you cannot attend, you can attend. Because remember, if you as a teacher of the guide class, let's say guide is your, is your class, you need to know what they are learning. So. Don't feel like it's only for pathfinders if you see an owner. The owners, you can also attend if you need to do that owner. Please don't, don't feel shy to attend with the, with the pathfinders because that's your ministry. So join them if you're able to join for those owners. Even though it's a say guide or friend class, you are welcome to join those, those uh, owners that are being uh, done. Okay, I think Kahisho has a question. Okay, yes, thanks, Pastor. Okay, I think before I ask my question, I think I just want to clarify something. One of uh, Rosemary's question was actually on the honors that we did during the lockdown, and we did the stewardship oh. honor there. So she wanted yeah. to know that yeah. because she has done that and she has passed, that she still needs to do it again. I think that was her question. Exactly. Yes. Okay, so, so here's the thing. Whatever you've done in the past, and you have proof that you've done it. You mm. don't have to do it again. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you have to, and this is, this is the reason why we're trying to run this online so that you can actually have proof of the certain things mm. that you have, that you go through. We're not doing this for you to repeat your curriculum again. Okay. Right. We're, we're trying to supplement yeah. <laughs> you to actually um complete your your requirements so okay so yeah if you've done the stewardship very good put that into your folder or your file and ensure that you have the 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 um proof yes thank you okay and now coming to my question it's also got to do with what you've done in the past okay so i've got a uh first aid certificate on my journey of doing master guide and i can see you know i'm just asking this because there might be someone who's also in my page and i don't want them to relax to think that they they've got that they've backed that meanwhile maybe they might have needed to repeat that so some of those certificates um, are expiring this year some of them expired last month but now for someone who is planning on like whose progress shows that they might actually graduate at the end of this year, will that certificate still be valid? Okay, Brother Bongs, maybe you can assist here. Yeah, that's a tricky one, but but let's see how we can address. So so obvious, I think with the with Due to the lockdown, I think a lot of things has been delayed. So I think the ones that still have the, the year of the date of this year or next year, they are valid. We can will accept it because really we you, you you there's no other options. But if it expired already before even the lockdown, then that's a difficult one because now that's 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 before anything was everything was was up and running until lockdown. But if, if something expires before lockdown, that unfortunately you need to do it again. But if you have something expired through lockdown and your intention is that you're already in part in, in, in your process to complete, then we'll accept that. Okay, thank you very much. 
Yeah, but if, if it's something that is, but if you are not intent on finishing this year, if you're, let's say, you're only six, you've done 30% of the work and, and you want to complete, then it will, so it depends what you present to us. So this is, I'm this far, I'm only left with this thing. Then we'll look at the matter. So I think it's, so, so it's difficult. It's not a general statement, but it will depend on the case that you bring forward. Okay, hey, thanks for the clarity. I think that's that's clear enough. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, I think. So, so I, think I, I think I think just I think just to add something there, past that, you know, if if you look if you look at the guidelines of the mask guide curriculum, it says. It says we need to follow the, the, the requirements as stated. Hmm. But, but it also gives provision that there are special cases yeah. that we look at the case by case and then you make a, a decision. So yeah. that's that's where that's where that's a situation where now we need to say, listen, case by case, this is a reality, we understand. But as I'm saying it's not a general question, is it's on a case basis. <laughs> Okay, then I saw Mary Ann has been trying to get our attention for quite a while with her, her hands clapping. Mary Ann? Thank you, Pastor. Uh, the spiritual gifts, um, somebody earlier indicated that you go to the GC resources and then if by either clicking on it or going into it, you have then, that is almost like a done deal or something. Maybe I misunderstood that, but I've got a, a sheet handed to me when Pastor Stander was still our um, sort of instructor, and we've completed it like that. Is that valid, or do I need to go and get whatever's on the GC um, curriculum, uh, on, on the online resources? Because he no. gave us a couple of sheets, and we worked through that, and that's in my file. So That is my one question. The other one was the, the, the honest need that we need to do including the one from Lupunduano and the two additional, is that now a total of eight then? Um, that, that's all, thank you. All right, to answer your question on the spiritual gifts, I think, and Brother Bones, you can maybe uh, also add, um, there's numerous amount of different spiritual gifts assessments that you can actually do. Um, we, we're advising people to go to the GC website, but if you've already done one, um, via another another person or even a leader, um, it just needs to be a very how can I put it um, complete test that you've done. And I think the one that Pastor Standard does is very complete, and I think it's probably very similar to the one that's on the GC website. Thank you, Pastor. It's about six pages, but yeah, I, I can always run it by you through a mail. So it's probably about 140 questions. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, I think it's probably the one one that you get. Yes, the, yes, yeah. Uh, yes, that's good. That's correct. Because even the one in the GC is quite a long, sort of lengthy number of questions. Yes, it's got a lot of stuff on this, a few pages. Yes, I think, yeah. So I think process is correct uh, that we, they keep, yes, yeah. I think, yeah. Because it's, it's, intense, it's, it's an intense thing because a lot of questions need to answer in the GC one. So I'm, yes. I'm guessing that it might be the same or similar to that. Which is and, and, and Pastor Standard was, was uh, I've worked with Pastor Standard, so he, know, he knows the standard, so he wouldn't give you anything. <laughs> So I should be fine, should be fine, because he, he knows the requirements of Master Guide, because he was the, was the youth director, so he knows which one needs to be done. So, so definitely, if it's six pages, it sounds correct. <laughs> and then, and then it's... it's and, and then on the honest question, so, so say there's five, there's five that are compatible. So yes, it's, it's five, it's five compounds, right? and then there's an additional one. So if you think of it, yes, you're correct, because uh, chemistry skills one, two, three, and four are different honors also. They're all different honors, mm -hmm. but they just put it one, two, four. So if you count that, it's about, yeah, it's about, I think about 10 honors, actually. That, that you need, these are, these, are, you, you, these are learning honors, but if you go on further in the curriculum, there's ones where you need to teach yourself, but we'll get the, it, it, when you do that section, 
but for this one is when you are a student in that class. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Uh, Socoso? Thank you, Pastor. Um, my question is, uh, is on the section about teaching a class, the Pathfinder class or adventure or the Sabbath school class for a year. So I want some clarity on this year. As in, because of this year, okay, for example, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a teacher in the Pathfinder department and henceforth because of Corona, we've missed like four months so far. So what I want to understand is next year or maybe the year after, if I'm still doing my master guide, because definitely I'm not completing this year or probably next year, do I still need to do this one again since this year it's not going to be a full year because of the corona thing? Do I still need to start, start afresh? Yes, so, so if I can reply in that way, I would actually like to suggest, and uh, uh, we've been speaking with the PLA and APLA, we have, to, we have to upgrade our methods of how we're actually ministering. Um, so I would even suggest that try and get your, your, your Sabbath school class or your Pathfinder club going on WhatsApp and that you can actually do some lessons on WhatsApp. I'm sure that it's possible. But if, if, you're, if you're only starting your Master Guide curriculum now, you'll still have a chance next year to be able to do the full year class. It's a requirement, so you'll have to do that. It's not something that you can bypass and, and, and uh, not, not complete that section. Okay. Understood. Thank you. And, and just to add, and uh, uh, for Korak to, to mention this area of the, of the teaching, so in, in particular for, for adventurers and, and the Pathfinder classes. So the, the way that we, we can know that you have fulfilled the requirement also is that the class gets invested. Mm. So you need to, we need to see that you start something and complete it because hence we say from Feb to March, I mean, so Feb to, to November because Feb you start and then November is usually the investiture period. So that's our way to know this is so as you're part of the class and the kids were invested. Because remember, let's say you're teaching it's a say example friend class for the first time ever. You've never been an adventurer or pathfinder. So by you teaching the class, when that class gets invested, you also get invested as a teacher. Mm. So 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 I know a lot of people say, but hey, I've never been an adventurer, but I wanted to master guide. We understand that. As we say, you need to teach a class so that whatever they fulfill, you also fulfill at the same time. So, so that's very key that your, your proof at the end of the day that I was teaching a class is when you see investiture, say, listen, Togo started with the adventure class and now she is in the invest and she also getting invested. Then it's a tick. Then you fulfill that requirement. Mm -hmm. uh, Linda? Uh, yes, um, my my question, uh, Brother Bungani, when you were uh, uh, explaining to us about uh, camping skills, at that time I was uh, having some buffering sounds on my side. I really didn't get you there. So I just want to to hear from you. You said we, you since we can't go on camping just because uh, probably just because of this COVID nineteen, we can actually do it at the back of our uh, house or within our yards, uh, maybe setting up a camp, uh, do we need to view the rise as, as proof that uh, uh, we have done this? Uh, how, how, how do I give the proof? Yes, Linda. Yeah, so, so all proof, is it? any proof is very important. Photos, videos, um, uh, a report of what you did for a camp because if you go through the camping skills, it, it, it has questions. It says do this, how to do this, how to do this. So by you answering those 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 questions and then say uh, uh, like example says do a fire with one match. So you can take a video of that of of, of lighting a fire with one match so that you can take a video of it. And then remember we said we we are creating a platform where you can load 
all your your material or your videos or your evidence into the drive and then when you access the drive then we find that video then that becomes your proof so so the areas that we're saying that becomes more tricky is saying let's say some people don't have that access of having a backyard where they can do some of the of the practical work then that becomes tricky that's why we say we'll try we'll see how we can find ways around that but if you have a yard and you can achieve you can fulfill doing the overnight camp so your, your camp experience basically your camping skill experience of that give that evidence is what we need to see okay okay thank you so much you've answered me thank you you're welcome all right and i see uh Paulson, you have a question and then i'll come back to kahisho So, so, hello. Hello. Uh, my question is also on the camping skills. Um, like uh, in 2019, our Pathfinder team, we went to the camp. Is that also uh, valid to use in the files? Uh, yes, Wilson, you can use that as long as you show us what requirement you fulfilled in that camp. Because remember, you can go and camp, but they don't do anything that is part of the requirements. Yeah, so we said you camped, and, it, and this is what we were, why we were camping, and these are the what we are fulfilling. Then, if you have those evidence, that's good. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. And the, on the teaching of classes, like I've got two classes which I teach. I teach the baptismal class, and I teach my explorer class. I am doing it by WhatsApp. So. Okay. okay. What uh, do you need? Because these candidates are not going to be baptized due to this COVID. But I have got them. We have finished the manual. We are just doing revision. No, definitely. You know, the 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 if 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 you have some some evidence of of that, you know, because you can do a screenshot of of that question, that becomes your proof. Because we, we and right. also and also remember what you say that. So in this case, because they're teaching Papuna class, so means that in, in the extra class, means that in the Papuna side, your elder can say, Wilson was teaching this class. That just becomes a proof. Okay. And then the explorer also, the, the director, if you're not the director or or a deputy director, can send a letter after you've completed the class that Wilson has been teaching this class. So that becomes your, what you put in your portfolio. That, that's another proof that you can put in your portfolio. But there's people that have been watching you teach the class and they're just saying confirmation here yeah, he has proof that he was teaching so that so those letters are key you so if you're not if, if you saw your elder for the person starts for that is cannot be given by no no i think the elder has to give you that class so that then becomes the proof the letter from your elder and then from the explorer class the person the director or the deputy if you are the director can confirm that okay thank you so much okay I think that's it. Okay. Um, can I ask my question? Yes. Yeah, sorry, Kakisho. I thought I was. Yes. Yes. Head. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so my my question is also on the camping skills. Over a year ago, I did camping skills with Donovan. You know, we did everything, camping furniture, fire, camping cooking. So will, will that still be valid? Or will it be one of those cases that will be looked at its merit and be evaluated? 100% valid. As long you remember, you have three years to complete your master guide. So let's say you did that last year, but then you can't fulfill this year and you complete next year, it's still valid because it's within the three years of you doing it. Okay, so this one is a bit tricky because I kind of like started my master's guide from scratch. That's what I'm asking. But do, the question is, did you start this year or you started last year? I started this year. But at that, yes. at that time, I was attempting it but then um, due to other commitments, I put it on hold. Then I, I, I'm starting again this year. That's why I'm asking, will there, those camping skills be still we need be to talk. We'll Yeah, in such cases, then we need to see what, yeah, what, what, what you have. So whatever you present to us, 
then we can talk because I, I see it's a tricky it's a tricky one yeah yeah, yeah, okay, no, cool. Yeah, send us details and then we'll talk. When you, what you present to us, then we can have a conversation about it and see what, how we can help you. Um, okay. If yeah. I can ask, just submit your, your email address in, in, on the group, maybe, as well as on the chat. Okay. But everyone can have okay. your email. And when they send me an email or you, they need to send you an email as well because uh, Brother Bongani is, is very... He's focused just specifically on, on what's happening within Master Guide. Um, so he will be able to help you guys much quicker than what my desk will be able to help you because I have many other things that I'm looking at. I will go okay. to Chokose and then I'm coming back to Marianne. Okay, thank you. Um, 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 Brother Wongs, um, um, I'm asking you specifically. I'm back to my question. Uh, I heard your answer so. I wanted to know, since you suggested like teaching using WhatsApp and what, what. So I wanted to know because in my class, it's just two of us, me and my kid. And then the thing is, he did his friend, he started his friend, friend class last year. And then he couldn't finish because of some other reasons. And then he started again this year. And now there's this coronavirus. So he's kind of like, giving up because he's like, at the end of the year, I cannot be invested. So I wanted to know if if I do that, like if I continue the teachings using Zoom or um, WhatsApp, can, can he be invested at the end of the year? That is if he completes everything that he needs to do. Besides without like, like our club, maybe not everyone is going to be doing this, but maybe only me and him and the friends class, because it's only just one person. Um, because I missed. Uh, um, because, do you mind just checking, checking my details on that? We can chat because my network just keep, keep cutting okay, off. Fine. Do you mind if you, if you can call me after and then we can talk about it because I missed the, uh, your session. Then we can talk. Okay, definitely. I'll check your details. Then I'll, I'll get back to you. Privately. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I missed that because network just it was cutting. Yeah, that's, that's fine, brother. Bongs. I think if you have specific questions relating to your own um, master guide process, um, that's not a general question. Maybe maybe you should contact brother Bongs um, and and see how you can go forward. Mary Ann, you had your hand up as well. Well, Pastor, you just said if it's not general, I think mine is not general, but I have the floor. So I just want to know, Cecily asked a while back on a Zoom forum about the knot tying where somebody in the group said that videos is the way to go to present it. But we have, because we started in 2018, a lot of us would have in that group would have now completed the knot board. So how do we show that we've done it other than what, was put on the platform as in we need to show by making videos do we so, undo our stuff again what do we do no what, what i what i shared last time um you have to choose which direction you're going if you're going to go on a on a digital platform and upload everything to a digital platform then you'll have to indicate with a video and upload those videos to your google drive but if you're going with your file ensure that you have your your um you're not bored with you. So if you've already done it, um, it means you've done it already. So I don't want you to, to reinvent the wheel for yourself again, but it depends on which platform you're going to be going with. Um, are the bombs, would you like Thank to you. add something there? Thank you. Well, that, that's correct, but uh, yeah. So it's, it depends on the firm. So you do, as I mentioned that you have three years. So, so Mary Ann, that this is your last year uh, since you started in 20. So yeah, so try and, and, and get, um, let's try and help you to, to complete uh, where possible this year. And then, and then, then you sort it. But yeah, if you've done it in 2018, don't have to do it again. As long as you have proof of that, then there's no issue. Yeah. So that's, that's fine. I would like to actually uh, encourage you, don't, don't go with a physical file and then also decide to go onto a digital platform. If you have a physical file and you're almost closed and you're almost finished with your, with your curriculum, continue with that physical file and uh, submit your file when, you, when you're finished. Um, but if you're early on 
I would suggest then see if you can go digital. It's going to help you a lot if you're going to go digital then. Thank you. Okay, pleasure. If there's no more questions, I would like to thank everyone um, for being present tonight. I see Brother Marvin is very quiet tonight. He had many questions two weeks ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> All right. So thank you very much for everyone for joining. Brother Bonks, thank you for presenting the overview. Um, this video no will be loaded onto the, the YouTube channel and you'll be able to receive it in the, the WhatsApp probably in the next few days. And uh, yes, we will also submit the link for the Google Drive for all the documents that we have. Now, someone asked, are we creating Google Drive files and folders for you to submit all your your information, your curriculum. That's not what we'll be doing. Um, we are creating classrooms on Google where you can actually um, submit your documentation if you're going onto the, the uh, digital platform. But at the moment, if you are going digital, create your Google Drive and load all your information onto Google. Um, the Google Drive that we have going is information that we want to share with you. So you'll be able to receive files and folders and things like that, but it's not for you to upload any information for us. It's better for you to go and create your own files and folders Correct. and then share it with us. Correct. Great. Um, can I ask Letitia to pray for us? Nice having names in front of you. You can see who's here. Is Letitia here? All right. I think uh, I will just pray for us. Come, let's close our eyes and we can pray. Father, thank you that you're God of our lives and that we can spend time together and that you can teach us more about your grace and about what you want us to do in becoming master guides lord and as we train the youngsters and the kids may we we pray lord that you may guide us and give us the wisdom and knowledge to deal with everything that we have to um, work with lord and that you may help us be creative and think outside the box bless us now as we we go our separate ways and may you give us a good night rest tonight please we pray this in your name alone amen